Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all things college and kind of going to be talking about my sophomore year experience and things that I learned. Just some advice for those of you who may be going into your sophomore year, maybe going into your freshman year. And yeah, I just thought I would give you guys some advice, some little things that, that I learned throughout this past year. I did do one of these last year at the end of my freshman year. I will have that linked up here. Yeah, I just figured I would do another one with you guys and kind of give you some little things that I learned throughout this semester, especially being all online. While for the most part, I did have one in-person class, but other than that, I was all online. And who really knows what next year is gonna look like, so I'm just gonna give you guys some advice on what I learned throughout this whole online thing definitely different and yeah I just wanted to share with you guys some things. This video is also a collaboration with another YouTuber and her name is Courtney Taylor. She posts kind of the same content that I do. Lots of like day in my life, um, YouTube advice, college advice, stuff like that. So I will have her channel linked down below. So her video on her channel is going to be a college money saving tip video so she's going to be giving some tips on how she saved money in college and hopefully you guys can do the same too yeah be sure to go check out her channel she is so nice and just like literally the most genuine person ever i think you guys will really love her channel again it will be linked down below hey guys my name is courtney taylor and i am a college youtuber so i also made a video in collaboration with Alyssa, and it's going to be what i learned through my junior year of college everything i'm going to be talking about has to do with finances and how to save for college and then some other things like thrown in just tips and tricks and what i learned my junior year i definitely have a lot of things to share with you guys so if you're interested then after you finish watching this video you can head over to my channel i would love to see you there if you do come from Alyssa's channel definitely let me know in the comments and i would love to get to know you guys and i will respond back to you um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So I do have a little list here of all the things that I thought would be helpful for you. I think there's 10 or 11 tips here, so let's go ahead and get into it. These are not in any particular order. I'm just gonna go off of what I have here. Um, so the first one that I have written down is to not be afraid to ask for help. College is definitely a lot different than high school. I'm sure you guys know this by now. The professors are definitely not as lenient as high school teachers. They always tell you that in high school, like, it's gonna be so hard in college. Nobody's gonna be lenient on anything, which for the most part is true. I did have a professor this semester who was actually pretty lenient on like due dates and stuff but mostly professors will not accept late work if they do it's only for like half credit there are a lot of professors who are not like do not put up with any stuff but do not be afraid to ask for help if you are struggling in the class like especially even asking your peers or classmates even if you do email them like especially with this online stuff emailing them really really helps because chances are they're kind of struggling too and they need some advice you guys can just bounce ideas off of each other yeah but i know professors can be kind of intimidating and you might be a little bit scared to ask them for help but i mean it is your grade on the line so don't be afraid they are pretty nice for the most part and they are willing to help a lot of the time. The next one kind of goes with that as well which is do not be afraid to ask your advisor for help. If you don't know what your advisor is it's kind of the person it's like a counselor in high school so it's pretty much the person that will set up all your classes for you. Well I mean not set them up for you but they will be able to give you a list of all the classes that you do need to take for your major whatever that may be and they can kind of guide you through everything. Usually you do have to meet with your advisor at least once or twice during the semester just to make sure that you are on track and not taking the wrong classes. If you are unsure of which classes you do need to take, they are definitely a lot of help and will kind of guide you in the right direction because coming into college, I was always like, I just wasn't like knowledgeable on the college thing, like your major and degree and declaring a major. I never really knew what that meant. So they will definitely help you out with all that stuff and kind of give you more knowledge on classes you need to take and when you can take certain stuff. All right, third one, getting more into like the college tips and stuff like that. Mine 
it's pretty obvious, but I like to make to-do lists, especially with the online thing. Again, very hard to kind of keep yourself accountable and stay on top of your work when you do have to self-motivate. Yeah, I love making to-do lists, especially my weekly spreads and my monthly spreads, just kind of keeping up with what needs to be done when. It keeps myself accountable, make sure I don't miss anything throughout the day, and yeah, very, very helpful. I even got my boyfriend into making these. My fourth one is even hard for myself, so don't feel bad if you do this, but try not to procrastinate as much as you can. Trust me, guys, I know it's hard because I do it all the time. I still struggle with this, but I've been trying to get better at it. Yeah, it's really hard with having online class, though, because you don't have that in-person motivation. A lot of my professors had stuff due, like, on Sunday at 11.59 p.m., so it was really hard for me not to wait until last minute to do it. But again, making that to-do list, making sure you're getting it done even before the due date, like, that's really important as well. But yeah, don't feel bad if you do this. Just try to, like, motivate yourself because I know it's hard, but in the long run, you will thank yourself when you aren't having to do it at 10 o'clock on a Sunday night and just like rushing to get it done. You will thank yourself if you don't procrastinate. <laughs> Number five has definitely been kind of hard for me to adapt to and learn myself. And that is to make sure that you're not letting your grades define you. Myself, I was an all-A student in high school. I graduated third in my class and going into college, I was like, really putting a lot of pressure on myself that I needed to get all A's. I needed to get like the best grade ever on all my assignments and tests and everything, which I mean, I didn't do that bad. I pretty much ended all my semesters with the A's and B's, which actually this semester I did get all A's, so that I was super proud of myself for that. But do not let that define you if you do get a bad grade on something or in a class because in the long run it doesn't really matter that much as long as you are getting the grade that you need at the minimum that is good enough for them they don't really care if you are getting all a's or getting a 4.0 or whatever they don't really care in college as long as you get your final degree they aren't going to care in the workforce what your actual grades are i mean it is a personal goal for myself to always push to get the best grade that i can but if I don't do that, I don't put too much pressure on myself because in the long run, it really doesn't matter. It's just a grade. <laughs> Number six is to make sure to take notes on anything and everything that your professor says, unless they do tell you that it's not going to be important for the test or something. It is really crucial that you do this because you could always have a pop quiz. They could just bring up random questions in a test that you didn't expect to have, especially like certain due dates or anything that they, you think is important in class that they do say. I would make sure to write it down because again, it could pop up anywhere when you're expecting it because professors do like to do that so make sure you're writing everything down number eight is to use your time wisely so I know in college everyone wants to be in clubs wants to hang out with their friends make new friends and that is perfectly fine everyone wants the college experience maybe not everyone but I'll get into that a little bit later a lot of people like to go to football games any kind of sports related event go to parties that's always good to have but make sure you don't have any other priorities for class first don't skip class it does not do you any good to skip a class your professor could say any kind of useful information that you could miss out on and it could really really affect your grade and i know you may want to you know go to a party or hang out with friends or do something that you think is a bigger priority than going to class i was kind of struggling with last semester I really did not want to go to class in person because I just thought it was pointless he was just reading the lecture slides off of the PowerPoint that was given to us in canvas which I could have easily looked at from my house and not have to drive an hour to class but overall it was pretty beneficial to me because hearing those words in person and just having him reiterate it and explain little things that are on the PowerPoint like going off on certain stories it does help you retain the information a lot better and even if you think that class isn't important or you don't need to go it definitely will help you in the long run of doing better on tests and just be able to retain the information a lot better. Something that I found really really helpful was to kind of 
plan out my day, set time blocks. So I, since I was working from home, as most of us are working from online classes, I always thought it was really helpful to plan out like a nine to five job, I guess. I guess this is different when you do have like night classes or something. But for me, I always had class or Zoom classes during the day to kind of wake up at around 8 a.m. and get all my work done until like 3 p.m. and then be done for the rest of the day. That really helped me out because it was like, okay, I only have this time to focus and then I can get the rest of the night to myself to hang out with my family or my boyfriend or something like that. It was easier to do from home. I know it's not always the easiest when you do live in a dorm or something like that because you have distractions and other people living with you, but I do think it is really good if you are able to do that. It definitely helped me out a lot. All right, my next tip, I think I said this in my last video last year, but that was to find cheaper book options. Let me tell you, there's pretty much always a cheaper option. Unless you do need an access code, that's where it does kind of get you because they want you to pay so much money for the certain access code that you need to have the class online or whatever. That is something you probably can't find another option for, but if it is just like a simple, like my sociology class, I was able to find my book on Amazon for so much cheaper than the bookstore. And professors will tell you as well to find a cheaper option because they know that nobody wants to pay $200 for a book that they will use for three months because it's just, it's so wasteful of money. It's so ridiculous how high priced they make their books at the bookstore. Always look on Amazon or ask around, see if anyone is selling their books and I'm sure you can always find a cheaper route. All right, so my last one is something that I can definitely relate to. A school that I go to, I absolutely love. I would not change where I'm going. I love my school so much, and I'm so grateful that Cameron is over there with me because without him, I would definitely be a loner. Just know that it is okay to not want to be in clubs or organizations or a part of something because it's not for everyone and I know a lot of people are like well you're in college it's you need to do like all the things and just have the best college experience of your life and it's okay to not have that it's okay to not want that because I really don't want it either like I don't want to be in an organization or club something that I would do is definitely play volleyball but I just don't think I'm gonna have the time to do that or be on a different team because with YouTube and working like literally you guys, I don't know how I'm gonna do it next semester. It's gonna be so hectic. It's okay to not be the most outgoing person and want to make friends the first day of class and just seeing all these people like have so many friend groups and kind of being the loner and not being able to put yourself out there. Like I understand you and that's exactly how I was and it's okay. Your people will come along. You will eventually make friends, find people who are the same as you. It's definitely hard with the pandemic and everything. Not being able to see people in person and make friends like that. Eventually, once you get into your major and kind of have the same classes with everyone, I feel like that's when relationships will really click and you will be able to meet friends and be in the same classes with people. People who are going through the same thing as you and yeah, that's what I'm really looking forward to because I feel like then you will actually make genuine friends and find people who like the same things as you and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to get a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out Courtney Taylor's YouTube channel. I will definitely be sure to link her video in the description box when it does go up. But for now, just be sure to subscribe to her channel. Her videos are so cute. She has such a nice personality. I think you guys will love her. If you love my videos, you will love hers. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great first year of college, second year, third year, fourth year. I hope you all have a good year. Hopefully things start to get back to normal. I am so ready to be in person for all of my classes and just have somewhat of a normal life um, back again because I'm so over online classes. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everything. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.